Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to another video. This is my quick tutorial on how to open the Amberry GUI on your Mega 500 Mini. So you will need, of course, the Mega 500 Mini itself. You will also need USB flash drive. I'm using a 32 gigabyte one and a USB hub. This is so you can, because there's only three ports on the system and we need to plug four devices in. We also need the Amiga 500 mini gamepad and the Amiga 500 mini mouse of course and you will also be needing any USB PC keyboard now go to the retrogames.biz website and click on products now click on the Amiga 500 mini now click on support and now download the WHD load package to your computer. Press here and press here and then at the top right of the Google bit press this arrow here. That will download the uh, RAW file. Is it a RAW file? Well it will download the setup file to your computer. Now go back and also download this Citadel, this bonus game pack here. Download again at the same place and click this arrow up here now you can go ahead and insert your usb pen right click it press format and make sure this is selected as fat 32 once you've done that you can name it what you want i'm going to call it a500 in my case quick format start now after a few seconds it will format the disk. Extract the contents of both files you downloaded earlier and you should be presented with both this folder and this folder on your USB pen. You can also add your own ADF and HDF folders for easy storage of the files. So inside the ADF folder you can put your ADF images. I've just stuck lethal weapon in for now on this video and in the HDF you can put your HDF file you might have made earlier okay so now plug in your USB pen into your Amiga 500 mini and go to the USB icon choose the A500 games choose Citadel but press menu for game settings and now change anything on this screen this is important, it can, it can be anything, turn off auto center like I have in my example and now return the USB pen back to the computer. Now that you have your USB drive back in your computer, go into it, go into the A500-games and now see this ul.uae file, right click that and press open with and choose notepad. Now you will see all this information. This is what that menu button generated earlier. Okay, so insert a line at the very top. So I'll just press enter. And now paste in all the information that I'll put in the description below. It should look like that. Save the file, replacing the old one. So we'll save over the top of it and return the USB pen to the Amiga 500 Mini. Now we are back on the Amiga 500 Mini, we need to go back to the USB pen stick again. Go to Citadel, but this time press home to start game, do not press menu. And there you will see the Amiberry GUI. Now unfortunately you can't navigate this with the mouse, you have to use a PC keyboard. So use a combination of the arrow keys, tab and space to navigate around it. So you can change your RAM settings, your ROM settings. As you can see, we can put some slow RAM in or some Z2 fast and uh, all the different settings of Amiberry. Now this is where you can mount a floppy disk here, so ADF file. Now you're going to want to delete all these, so I'll just press X on each one and if you want to you can add your hard file here, HDF file, and that will boot you into whatever hard file you've got. Okay, so let's just show you the floppy drives bit. So if we press this take it back take it back mount that's where the uh, usb files are and lethal weapon.hgf now one thing i didn't mention in the 
I forgot to demonstrate in the video after capturing is um, you've got to map your joist pad settings before you do all that. But yeah, okay, so that's lethal weapon. I hope you found this video uh, informative and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now and thank you for watching.